hello guys so um in this video we'll be looking at how we can convert um an auto mosaic um, image that would have actually processed from um artisoft or any other um, image processing software into dsf or dwg file that can be read by autocad so we want to be able to open an auto mosaic imagery or file in AutoCAD. So one software that we can use here is the AutoDesk or AutoCAD Map 3D. So here I've actually opened the AutoCAD Map 3D. So before importing your auto mosaic, the very first thing you need to do is to set the unit for the work mode you're currently on you need to set the coordinate system the right coordinate system and other important unit before you import or insert your auto music which is your image in tiff or tif format so the very first thing you need to do is you come to this task bar at the bottom of the autocad map 3d you this stand for the coordinate system so you can see it is referencing nothing here so what you need to do is to set the coordinate system. So for me, I'm using um, UTM Minadatum. So you're going to click on this arrow. Then when you click on that arrow, you're going to see this library pop up. So you click on library. So the next thing you need to do is to search. You can search if you know the EPSG code of the coordinate system. You can search for that or just type the name of the region, the coordinate system of the region you're actually interested in, Mina. So I type MINA, I click on enter. So yeah, I'm interested in a MINA ITM zone 31 knots. So I click on it, assign. So that is that. Another thing you need to do is to go, is to set the unit generally. So you need to go to the um, icon over here, the AutoCAD map 3D icon over here, you click on it. Then you navigate to the drawing utilities. From the drawing utilities, now you need to go to the unit tab. So when I click on the unit tab, it brings up this dialog box. So here I need to set my precision, the units to scale inserted content, and the direction of my um, referencing system. So yeah, I'm going to set this to three decimal places. I'm going to click on clockwise. Then my unit is going to be meters, which is it for UTM. Then the direction is going to be not. Okay, so now we are ready to insert the image. So now for you to insert the image from the tags we have here on the toolbar, so you can click on insert, then come to where you have image. So you click on that. So yeah, it takes me directly to where I have my um image, my auto mosaic. So if not for you, you can just navigate to the folder where you have um, the auto mosaic, the imagery. So let me go to where I have the image. So AutoCAD map 3D, TIF, this is the image and open. So you have this image correlation dialog box come up. So you're here, you need to um, look or take a look at the insertion points in order to better uh, reference or check for the coordinate values you have make sure it's reference the coordinate system you're actually using for that work mode so here yeah, my coordinate is in <coughs> sorry meters so this represents my instance and the one starting with seven is standing for my nothing so you can see unit is in meters so i'm good to go so apply okay so your image your auto mosaic should come up so you can use the on your keyboard you can use the z enter e enter so when you click on the z enter e enter the image is going to focus on the center of the um, map interface so we need to wait a while for some seconds for it to pop up. So when we have the automatic, then we can export.
so here we have the auto mosaic so you can see this is a water body and this is land that have been sand field so here if i zoom in you can see the ground control points that i use for the drone image i have four ground control points in total this is another one then i have another one right here this is another one then we have one here so this depends on the requirements or purpose of the drone so now we can export the auto mosaic to dwg file so how we need to do that you can go to your file menu this icon then you can navigate to exports so here you can see dwg so so you have other um export option so i'm going to click on dwg i want to open it later in autocad so in this um, interface you can click on next so after that as the second step you need to browse to the um, folder you want to save um, your dwg automatic so i'm going to use automat 3d dwg so let me say drone drone image dwg okay save next then here as a last step you can choose a template for you to open your file in autocad so i'm going to leave this as it is i'm going to use finish so when i click on finish we are good to go so you can see in the box they're telling you um template no so now we are good to go we can now open this auto mosaic in autocad so i can close my autocad map 3d then here i have my autocad open and beside the screen is an excel sheet showing the ground control points that i use for my drone capture drone survey so here yeah, i want to um check if the coordinate values of my ground control point are closed i want to look i want to check for accuracy assessment here so now i'm going to bring in the dwg file that i exported using autocad map 3d so i can go to open and i'm going to navigate to that folder okay this is it already so you can see trainings that are pretty dwg this is it here so i click on open so you can see it is processing so while that is going on it is important also before you open any um, file in autocad is good you use the format uh, tool to make sure you set the right units for your work mode so formats units so here yeah, you should set the drawing unit for your work mode so now this is the dwg file so you can see let me zoom in so these are my gcps this is one here this is gcp4 so i took the gcp from right to left so gcp1 is in the right hand side of the um, image so gcp1 gcp2 3 and 4 so from right to left so now we are going to be comparing the coordinates in order to check for accuracy assessment quickly so um i can come here i know since i was on ground i was in the field i know where i have my gcp1 so this is my gcp1 so you can see a slight um shift in the image is because some of this satellite image was to cover a lot of the water bodies but we don't have we can't place gcps on water so that's why you have that lack in the gcp1 so let's just scratch, check the coordinates, the coordinate value to um, the one we have in the Excel sheet. So this is GCP1. So I can use the locate point tool in AutoCAD to assume the center point for my GCP and check for the coordinate. So you can see I have 557899. Then, then for the nothings, I have 716142. So if you look at GCP1 in the Excel sheets, we have 557898 and 716142. So for the eastern, you can see there's about a meter difference. So that's somehow close. 
so let's check for um gcp2 so this is gcp2 right here so let me use the locate points so let me assume this is the center so now look at what we have here in autocad and what we have in there is that you can see they are close or closer compared to gcp1 so we have 557805716129 then I think this is around um, cent centimeter accuracy. So you can see, I think this is a good job. So we can check for the next GCP, which is GCP3. Let me assume this is the center point. So comparing that to the Excel um, value, you have 557694209, but 304 here in the Excel, and you have 716128. So you can see, this is also centimeter accuracy. So let's go to the last um, GCP, which is um, GCP4. So locate point. I'm going to let me assume this is the center point. Okay. So you can see we have 557598 or 832 and 716129. So you can see GCP4 is very, very close we have centimeter accuracy so basically that's how you bring in an auto mosaic that you've actually processed using any um, image processing software example like agisoft so you can bring that image into autocad map 3d or map 3d you can convert to dxf or dwg in order for you to open such um, auto mosaic in AutoCAD probably for your referencing or checking for accuracy assessment. So that's where we are going to stop for now. See you later, guys.